Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to what to do after clearing the Hatsune event lineup and pretty much the Summer Kasumi Summon. So we're over here in the Hatsune Perfect event and let's talk about what it means to clear this event. So if you go into the current lineup, you have reached Gacha Lineup 5. So once you have gotten here, technically you have beaten all the lineups, you have gotten the maximum amount of jewels and what happens here is you just keep repeating over and over again until you clear out the box. And uh, something that I wanted to show you is this ratio right here. This was provided by you slash deadly killer. Super nice information and it breaks down like the jewels, the amulets, tickets, the ratios between the different boxes. And you can note here that box one did not have the best jewel ratio for the amount of total draws required, right? It's all based off of like personal preference and the calculations. At the end of the day, it's showing you that the jewel ratio is pretty good for box four and box five onward. It's not that good for jewels you know 0.14 percent or you know this is technically kind of low in my opinion but if you want to sit here and pretty much get the jewels i totally understand because technically if you run this one time you get a hundred jewels technically right which is really nice but at the end of the day you can't reset this so once you get to 841 that's the only time you can actually reset this so even if you get like the five jewels you can't just be like oh i'm gonna reset now since i've done seven pulls you have to go all 841 time personally i feel like it's not worth it to technically keep going into the hatsune event and farming out the normal modes i don't think farming out the normal modes was worth it i did it myself and i was doing like three or six stamina refreshes just to see what would happen personally i feel like if you can get to the hard modes for hatsune shards and shori shards you'll be more than capable to clear out the actual lineups it's all based off of personal preference and of course the shard drops are absolutely atrocious I know like I've gotten zero shards today for Hatsune but then there's some days where it sort of like ratios out where I get like three which is really good it's really topsy-turvy and it makes me feel a certain way one of the things that I wanted to show was I actually managed to get Shory to three star really nice because any character at three star will become much more viable as a unit three star is pretty much the comfortable base where everyone can sit at and perform much much better Better. I still need to get my Mimi to 3 star and I still need to unlock Sarah and I have a bunch of characters that I need to unlock but that's just because I haven't done too many summons alright so what am I going to be focusing on now that I've technically quote unquote cleared the Hatsune event lineups right what am I going to do the answer for me is of course personal preference I'm going to be focusing on clan battle and I'm going to be building all the units to have the little squigglies on them now my order is going to be Makoto, Kaori, Jun and then Mitsuki and then after Mitsuki, it's going to be Shori. Now, the reason why I have it this way is because Makoto has a defense breaker. She's absolutely broken and she just multiplies my damage to like a crazy degree. June, phenomenal tank, defense break, phenomenal. Mitsuki, her like defense breaks were really essential for clan battle for me. She boosted my damage to a degree that I didn't even think existed. And of course, for Shori, I have her at three star. She's my only DPS that's at three star technically i'm not going to be getting susan at a three star anytime soon nor mimi i doubt i can farm enough shards so there's that i don't want to focus on like the support units just yet like i'm still trying to get saren i don't think i'm going to have a copy for the next clan battle which is really rough because saren is just nice to have she's technically a better yukri saren's just here for tp boosting in case y'all were curious you know her extra bit of tp boosting most likely makoto if you compare saren with makoto that would be absolutely phenomenal because Makoto will get her ults off much faster. She can keep the boss defense broken much more, which just makes Saren all the more useful when bringing her into clan battle. Because Makoto dropping that UB, you know, more times than regularly will make your damage skyrocket as far as everything goes because defense breaks are absolutely essential for clan battle. And if you guys are curious, like where my characters are at, you know, Makoto, she's 8 3, and right now I'm working working on Kyrie to get her to 8-3 and then everyone else they're still sitting like with the same gear sets you know they're technically 7 and 5 not 7 6 7 6 would be if I had this piece of gear right here in particular but I don't yet so that'll be more to come so when it comes to this how much stamina did I spend I did like
like technically three to six refreshes depending on the day and i've managed to get to the hatsune perfect event eight days cleared or technically six days what i have to say though is i don't think the stamina refreshing was really worth it because i'm already player level 84 and i feel like it's a way to do stamina refreshes when i am no longer going to be getting player level exp and i am still going to be you know clearing out this hard mode like i said again and again because these shards are absolutely essential they're worth more than like the stamina the jewels is like completely worth it i'm not refreshing them but they are like just really good for overall gear and just shard drops right and of course the, the shard drop rates just suck like really terribly and the rest of my stamina is just going to be pumped into these characters if i can just get you know makoto jun and mitsuki to rank 8 that'll make me really happy everyone else it is what it is because at the end of the day we are limited on stamina i think i should have focused less on the patsune perfect event this is just my personal opinion right it's up to you whether you want to focus on the hot Saint perfect event or focus on building characters i'm a clan battle person so of course i'm going to be like hey i feel like my stamina would have been better used here as a clan battle person that's just my personal opinion and i feel like i made a mistake in some ways so next time when an event rolls around i won't focus too much more on spending stamina here and i'll be focusing more on building up my clan units that way they can perform a little bit better because i feel like i'm definitely going to crunch in order to get everyone to you know rank eight with three stars and refines because this is just an absolute nightmare trying to get all the gears pretty much farmed out right as you can see we are here over in jp so we're going to be doing some summons before we do some summons let's go ahead and look at summer kasumi this is going to be her abilities now she is going to focus on magical defense down you can see like for the most part what she does these are her skills here is another evaluation over in games with and the simple evaluation is skills sashubi can be used to grant magical defense down first critical damage debuff possessed and magical attack slash magic curry buffs other than yourself so that means she buffs other magic attacks and the amount of buff is pretty low because it's depending on the amount of enemies so if there's like obviously a lot of enemies you're doing this in quest it won't be that effective and note here that she's probably going to be used somewhere in clan battle she's actually not a pvp unit but i've been itching to summon as a late and i need something to spend like my hundred thousand gems on i don't think i'm going to be spending too much when princess Keru pretty much appears so let's go ahead and do the free summon first of all right here and we'll get like another one tomorrow let's see do we get anything shiny i just want one copy of summer kasumi and i'll be pretty happy my goal is to get one copy of her so I can do a little bit better in clan battle with my magical team specifically. And then I'll use the rest of my summons over in Prefess Karu banner. I wish I actually summoned on the New Year's banner just because of the fact that, you know, New Year's Kokoro is absolutely overpowered. But I'm also looking for some summer units. So maybe if I can get Summer Makoto from this, I'm not sure if she's on this banner. But hopefully at the end of the day, I don't have to pity, you know, Summer Kasumi because she is... One of the characters that I like over here in JP. I just like Kasumi in general. Okay. All right. We are going in three multis and not a single shiny. Dang. I know the rates are at least 6% because... Oh, wait. No, it's not 6%. Is it? It should be 6% for that rate up character. It's 3% for all the other characters. So let's go ahead and take a look. That's like one of the changes they have made in JP for the rate up character. So let's go over here on this side. Oh no, it's only 3%. So I guess that 6% was only for the Sheffy banner in particular. Well, you know, 0.7% higher for Summer Kasumi. I don't believe, I can't read this, so I'm not sure if these are other Summer units. But let's go ahead and jump right back into it and do some more summons. I've just been itching to do summons. You know, I've been saving for quite a bit. And I just want a character as of late. Oh, is this Summer Kasumi? Are we, are we done here? Are we done? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got one. Or, well, technically, we're like four multis in. But I'm okay with the outcome or the result. Is this it? This is it, huh? Yes? Yes? Yep, that looks like her. We got a winner. Okay, that is super nice. And the cool thing over in JP is that you actually get the shards with the character. So now that I have her, we are pretty much done summoning over here. And let's go ahead and take a look. I don't want to, you know, spend too many, like, summons over here just because I want to wait for double rates. And it's only, like, what? In three more days or technically two or three days because we're technically a day ahead over here in the Americas. 
then we will be getting one copy of Prefest Keru. All right, so she is here. And then if you take a look, you see I have a hundred shards right here as well. She's going to be a limited character, but for the most part, I just wanted one copy of her. I won't be able to get her anytime outside of this event. So super nice that we finally have a copy of a summer unit. I don't have very many copies. I only have summer Nenica. So hopefully in the future, maybe they'll release like summer Makoto again. I would really like at least one copy. And then this is the ticket where you can pretty much use this to acquire a random three star, I believe. Let's see who we get from this three star ticket because I am very curious. We are doing summons. Might as well continue with the summon train. All right, we know it's guaranteed three star. So let's see who's it going to be. Who's it going to be? All right, come on. Who is this? Oh, no, we already have her. This is Divine Amit. So, oh, well. She is really good though. She's the best defense down within the game outside of like Summer Makoto and Makoto herself. So I'm super happy to get, you know, that. But oh well, it's a dupe. And that is going to be the summons. Right, everyone, just to sum things up with the Hatsune Perfect event, my biggest regret was spending stamina on the normal modes. I thought that was a complete waste after pretty much finishing everything out. I feel like if you farm the hard modes, You'll have enough just to clear out the lineups if that is what your goal is. Now, if you want to go above and beyond the lineups, then feel free to farm normal. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's worth it just because of the fact that it's hard to justify the jewels and the stamina when you could be building characters and prepping for future events. Now, while you've even if you don't have Makoto or something, just being able to build characters, I feel is much more enjoyable but it's all also based on personal preference. And one more final tip, if you're wondering should you exchange shards, for example, if you form enough to have a Hatsune, if you don't summon, then exchange. If you do summon, then don't exchange because there's gonna be events, there's gonna be other things where you know Hatsune pops up on banners and you might wanna summon for her. But if you're not a summoner, you're just trying to save all of your gems, then I recommend exchanging your shards when you pretty much get a character. Like I exchanged for Akari, even though I didn't really have her, she's only a two star and I could easily acquire her via summons. But honestly, I don't, I'm not going to be summoning anytime soon, maybe on the Kyoka banner. But even then, it's still, you know, fairly far away to say the least. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, you know, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Once we hit 15k subs, we're doing that giveaway. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.